All right, let's get granular about bonus categories. You might have noticed that at your local big box grocery store, there's a gas station on site. In my case, there's HEB grocery stores in Texas, and many of them have HEB branded gas stations on the property. It might have occurred to you to wonder whether purchases at the gas station attached to your grocery store and branded to your grocery store codes as a grocery purchase or a gas purchase for the purpose of credit card bonus categories. Unless, of course, you're a fully functioning human adult who doesn't disappear up his own ass about these questions. Like me, then you might devise a little experiment, and that's what I did. I had a little grocery shopping to do, and I needed gas, so I decided to combine those purchases into an experiment. I used the same credit card that has a bonus category of grocery stores for both transactions. In this case, it was the American Express Gold Card. The American Express Everyday Preferred Card also has a big bonus on grocery store purchases. So you can earn a lot of MX membership rewards that way, which are transferable to a bunch of frequent flyer currencies. Very, pro very, uh, very valuable currency. So I did my gas purchase and my grocery purchase. It's been a couple of days and now the points have posted. So I can go to my American Express membership rewards portal. You do this by going to AmericanExpress.com, logging into your account and clicking on the tab on the top that says rewards when you've got the credit card in question uh, highlighted in front and center. Of course, I have a bunch of MX cards. I'm here on the gold card and I've got rewards selected and you can look down and see those two transactions right at the top. They're on the same day, December 6th. There we go. Now look what happened with the points. The first charge, HEB number 091, has a 4x points calculated to it. It was 659 in purchases and I got 28 points from it. The one right above, HEB Gas, I spent over $20 on gas and only got 21 points. So fewer, fewer points for a purchase almost three times the size. So as we can see in this case, uh, gas station purchases at the grocery store do not code as groceries. They code as gas, and this applies across all credit cards. So if you're doing grocery shopping and gas at the same big box grocery store, it would behoove you at the gas station to use the credit cards in your arsenal that give you good bonuses on gas. The American Express Everyday Preferred also happens to have a good bonus category for gas stations. Another good one is the City Premier card. But if you don't have either of those, and you just have the gold card, for example, but it doesn't get bonuses at the gas station, then you're better off defaulting to whatever card you use for everyday purchases with non-bonus categories. Again, the everyday preferred is really good in that category. Some other good ones are the Capital One Venture Rewards, the Barclay Arrival Plus, and the Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card. So thank you for sticking around for my anal retentive experiment and seeing how big of a douchebag I can be in terms of picking which is the right credit card for which purchase. I will see you in fucking first class.